What really sparked me to want to help people medically was when my grandmother suffered from dementia. In experiencing how one person's illness not only impacted the individual themselves, but the family as a whole. So my grandma is actually from Yorkshire, so I was listening to her birthing stories. She was a traditional birth attendant, used to go around and birth babies. And then on my dad's side, my Aboriginal lineage, my nan was also a nurse, and she used to also go around and help people birth their babies as well. So I became interested in midwifery through that. So you could be, you know, a paediatric nurse, an orthopedics nurse, working with bones, working in operating rooms, emergency departments, community health, you know, um, drug and alcohol rehabilitation, physical rehabilitation, school nurses. You know, people often say to me, oh, babies still come out the same way, uh, which, which I'm a bit intolerant of. You know, I really say yes, but the care we provide to women and their babies around the time of birth through pregnancy and through into those early weeks and months of mothering and becoming a family have changed. When I was a student nurse and you had to test someone's you know, you might have to test a stool specimen for blood or something like that. You know, you often actually had to get out a Bunsen burner and put a specimen in and add things to it and burn it and, you know, look for colour changes and like the way things um, are now is just incredibly different. I would say there's been a huge increase in the cultural capability of services over the last 10 years. When I first started, there were no specific Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander services for women in this area. And so that's my driving force um, to keep going and continue and make changes that our mob needs. We now have compelling evidence that mothers and their babies do better, much better, on every outcome when you have the same midwife look after the woman throughout the pregnancy, throughout the labour and birth, and throughout that postpartum after birth period. Florence Nightingale said, let us never consider ourselves finished nurses. We must be learning all of our lives. And as a soon to be graduating nurse, it is this dedication that I hope to keep throughout my nursing career.